So the UDP or the Unit Deployment Program exists out here to support really operational tasking. Third Battalion, 12th Marines consists of four total firing batteries. We've got two cannon batteries and two high mars batteries. I mean, all four of those batteries come out fully operationally ready. So they come out here certified. Each one of the parent commands deploys those batteries here forward. And then 312, Third Battalion, 12th Marines is the command that actually employs those forces. So it gets us a operationally ready, certified unit that we can immediately plug to fill operational requirements. We do a number of bilateral training exercise with the uh, Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force, or JGSDF. Uh, a couple of the more notable theater level exercise, your Keen Edge, your Keen Swords, uh, Orient Shield, uh, Resu Dragons are some of the some of the larger bilateral exercises that we conduct with our Japanese counterparts. Uh, 3rd Battalion, 12th Marine specifically, has been partnered with JGSDF uh, units to conduct bilateral coordination. Uh, and it, what that allows us to do is really exercise the interoperability between uh, the United States Marine Corps 3MEF forces and our JGSDF counterparts, really making the team much, much stronger across all lines of effort to include uh, fires, intelligence, command and control probably being the top three uh, that we've really made a lot of headway on interoperability with. So we take the different sections of uh, an intel for, from the Marines and then an intel from the Japanese and we partner them up. So as they're getting information, we're getting information and we can constantly compare that. But that also goes with our operations section, our training section, the logistics section uh, is always partnered up just so we have bilateral coordination throughout an entire exercise. And it's uh, relatively seamless and makes things run so smooth. Uh, some of the things that I've learned from working with our Japanese allies is, uh, is their capabilities. Uh, not only in combat, but also when it comes to humanitarian effort, uh, the way they can quickly respond, their discipline, uh, the way that they operate their forces, uh, we've, we learn back and forth. We've trained them a lot of best practices, and we've received some of theirs as well. I will say that working with our Japanese allies has probably been the highlight of my career, quite frankly. We are teaching them things, no doubt, but we are also learning. We have as much to learn from the JGSDF as we have to offer. But I think the Marine Corps, specifically through MEF, is just uniquely positioned um, in you know, key terrain that matters to us, to the Japanese. And you know, we're working day and night to make sure that we can, again, honor our treaty obligations, defend Japan, and fulfill our operational requirements in the event if we have a crisis or contingency. It's a great place to be. And you've got a lot of people that are working really hard and very passionate about what they do, so uh, yeah, it's a great place to be.